clinical features of oral lichen planus oral lichen planus is not a typical inflammatory condition it is characterized by a pillar of plaque like areas recognized by white papules that can collapse from plaques erosive lichen planus manifests as atrophic and erythematous areas Retinal lichen planus is mostly asymptomatic it involves multiple sites for example posterior buccal mucosa tongue gums and palate becomes a fine white lace like stripe seen on buccal mucosa gingiva and lips generally these are surrounded by discrete erythematous borders these are not evident on dorsum of the tongue the erosive area is not as common as a reticular form but it is symptomatic the symptoms may range from discomfort to intense painful episodes the erosive oral lichen planus is second most common type it appears as a mixture of erythematous area and large areas of irregularly shaped ulceration the ulcerative variety of lichen planus is accompanied with a whitish yellow pseudo membrane the periphery of the lesion is usually surrounded by reticular or fine radiating keratotic stripe it is painful when pseudo membrane or fibrinous plaque is disturbed the ulcerative lesions are usually noted at line of occlusion the bullous lichen planus is relatively rare form it has large bullae ranging in size from few millimeters to several centimeters in diameter if there are large vesicles or bullae these are fluctuant and appear whitish or grayish purple in color the fluid is usually clear but it can be hemorrhagic or even prolonged these tend to rupture easily and when they rupture leave an ulcerated painful surface this can be seen on under surface of tongue the lesion is also common on buccal mucosa particularly in posterior inferior areas of the buccal cavity in most cases the epithelium is separate if erosion is severe the papillary lesions are occur mostly as isolated lesions these are 0.5 mm in size these are evenly spaced apart sometimes present as pebbled white or gray in color the plaque type occurs in the form of patches these resemble leukoplakia and sometimes proliferative verrucous leukoplakia now there is another term which is called as discomative gingivitis which indicates atrophy and ulceration which is confined to gingival mucosa such cases should be biopsied for immunofluorescence and the oral lichen planus is to be differentiated from benign mucous membrane pemphigoid and pemphigus vulgaris in such cases cogos phenomena is a phenomena which is characterized by occurrence of lichen planus changes in areas which are subjected to trauma almost any type of irritant may provoke cogos phenomena mechanical trauma or irritants sharp margins sharp margins or rough surfaces and evenly poorly fitting dental processes can be exasperating factors in oral lichen planus thank you